Hi, this is Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute and the Cardiovascular Innovations Foundation presenting about what to do when the wire crosses a collateral in the retrograde approach but the microcatheter does not. And this is the overview of the retrograde approach starting from the decision to go retrograde and various steps and the step we'll be focusing today is that of uh, the collateral crossing with the microcatheter after the guide wire has crossed the collateral. It is very important before doing anything in terms of delivering the retrograde microcatheter to make sure that the wire has crossed from the collateral into the distal true lumen. Otherwise, this can result in perforation. This is an example where the wire seemed to be in the true lumen, however, injection demonstrates that the wire is actually outside possibly in a cavity or possibly into an epicardial vessel and advancing the microcatheter when the wire is not where you think it is can lead to perforation. Instead what was done in this case is the wire was uh, pulled back and repositioned and now we see that the guide wire is indeed into the distal true lumen and now is the time to advance the microcatheter over the retrograde guide wire. So nothing should be done before confirming that the guide wire is into the distal true lumen. That is true for wire crossing collaterals, but it's also true for wire crossing balloon and crossable lesions. How can the microcatheter be advanced into the distal true lumen? It's something that happens most of the time. However, there are cases in which um, the microcatheter advancement fails. In the Asia Pacific CTO Club, a failure of the microcatheter to close the collateral happened in approximately 30% of the retrograde failed cases. In another case series from China, 22.5% was the incidence of failure of the initial microcatheter to cross through a collateral channel that was solved mainly by changing microcatheter but also by getting more support as we'll discuss in the subsequent slides. This is what to do if the retrograde microcatheter will not cross and the options are to keep on trying to deliver the microcatheter through various modification techniques or extra support techniques or alternatively try to not deliver the microcatheter but try to either cross or use the wire as marking for the undergrade crossing or using another collateral. So we'll go one by one over those options. The first thing that one can do is to rotate the microcatheter, assuming this is one of the rotatable microcatheters such as the Corsair or the Turnpike or the Mamba or the Teleport. Rotating the microcatheter can decrease the friction and allow advancement through the collateral. Sometimes it may actually take several minutes, so this approach should be done consistently, but one should also avoid to over rotate the microcatheter to avoid damage no more than 10 turns in any direction before allowing the microcatheter to unwind. Quite often what helps with that is to increase support and the simplest way to increase support is to have an assistant or a second operator put some forward pressure on the retrograde kite catheter that increases the support for advancing the microcatheter. Another options for support are to use a guide catheter extension or to use the side branch anchoring technique. There are several guide extensions right now that can be used. The one concern with the guide extension is if there is proximal disease in the donor vessel because of the larger profile and the possibility of causing ischemia. The other option is to advance a wire into a side branch and a balloon and use this balloon as a side branch anchor balloon to advance uh, the microcatheter through the collateral. And this is an example of a patient with an LAD CTO and septal collaterals from the right coronary artery. The uh, microcatheter could only be advanced to the middle segment of the septal collateral. But then after inserting a guideliner, the microcatheter could be delivered all the way to the distal true lumen. So extra support with the guide extension can improve the likelihood of advancing the microcatheter through the collateral. The next option is to change microcatheter, either get a different one 
or get a shorter one, a 135 instead of a 150 centimeter, or get a new one, even the same kind as the one that you have been using before. There are currently many different microcatheters. There are big ones, smaller ones, angulated for going through uh, in the beginning of the case into the collateral, dual lumen and plaque modification. But for purposes of collateral crossing, we're talking about the big and the small microcatheters. And the advantage of the bigger ones is the ability to torque them, as discussed before, the rapid spinning technique to facilitate advancement. The advantage of the smaller ones are the lower profile that may facilitate advancement, especially through small epicardial collaterals. These are some of the bigger microcatheters. One again, once again, one can torque them, uh, spinning rapidly one direction or another. And these are some of the smaller lower-profile lower microcatheters, such as the Caravel, Fine Cross, Turnpike LP, and the Microcross. This is an example of a case. This is uh, a RCA CTO with a retrograde guide wire advanced from the LAD. There was inability to advance a Corsair microcatheter. However, a fine cross microcatheter could successfully cross through the septal into the distal right coronary artery. And that led to successful recanalization eventually. The next option is to actually dilate the collateral. Importantly, this should only be done for septal collaterals and never for epicardials because epicardial rupture can be a catastrophic, potentially life-threatening complication. So septans only, and how this is done is typically with a small balloon, 1.0 to 1.5 millimeters, that is inflated at low pressure, such as 2 to 4 atmospheres. The next option for increasing support assumes that we do have undergrade subintimal wire that is overlapped with the retrograde guide wire. If this is the case, then an undergrade balloon can be inflated over the undergrade guide wire. What this does is pins the retrograde guide wire, essentially acts as a distal anchor, and that facilitates advancement of the retrograde microcatheter into the distal true loom. The last option and that assumes that the microcatheter is advanced for the larger part of the vessel, of the collateral, is to exchange the original wire that was used to cross the collateral, such as the Sion wire or the Sion black, exchange it for a stiffer guide wire, such as the Pilot 200, that can do two things. One is to potentially even cross the CTO in the retrograde direction or provide more support for advancing the microcatheter. So all the strategies we discussed so far are strategies that can be used to deliver the microcatheter and once again their mechanism of action can be summarized to either modifying the friction or the collateral by dilating it or increasing support by using a guide extension and various forms of anchoring or a stiffer wire. But sometimes this fails and the microcatheter cannot be delivered are there any other options? And the answer is yes. And the first such option is to attempt retrograde crossing from true to true. This is an example of an LAD CTO with retrograde advancement of a wire from the right coronary artery. We were unable to advance the retrograde microcatheter all the way to the LAD. However, the occlusion was short and the retrograde guide wire was successfully advanced into the proximal true lumen and out in the aorta. In this particular case, the guide wire was snared and then um, the procedure was successfully completed. Another option is to advance the retrograde wire into an undergrade microcatheter, which of course is much harder but can be a very elegant solution if um, the retrograde microcatheter cannot be advanced uh, through the collateral. Other option when the microcatheter does not cross is to use the retrograde wire as a marker of the distal true lumen to facilitate undergrade crossing. And this is an example. This case has already been posted online. This is an example of a case of a right coronary artery CTO in a patient with previous coronary bypass graft. Surgical wires are here, external wires, and then septal collaterals. Undergrade attempts failed, but then eventually retrograde attempts to cross were successful, advancing the retrograde guide wire into the distal true lumen. 
This was uh, a Sion soft guide wire that once again successfully crossed uh, small branches and eventually it did advance uh, further back into the distal right coronary artery. But then both a caravel as well as a turnpike LP failed to cross that septal collateral despite uh, a lot of attempts. So in this particular case, we left the retrograde wire in place, advanced an undergrade guide wire in the subintimal position using the retrograde wire as marker of the position of uh, the distal true lumen. And then a stingray balloon was delivered distally and was used uh, to advance an undergrade wire into the distal true lumen using the retrograde wire as marker of the position of the distal true lumen. And uh, by doing that, successful crossing was achieved with a nice final result. Last but not least, sometimes it can be very challenging to advance a microcatheter through collateral and sometimes there is a reason for that. For example, the collateral is too small and very forceful attempts may actually lead to collateral rupture. We typically say that septal rupture is not a big deal because it's self-limiting, but that's not always the case. This is an example where there is a significant injury of a septal branch leading to a large septal hematoma, which can cause hypotension, decrease the feeling of um, the right or left ventricle and lead to shock and potentially death. So in cases where things are extremely challenging, delivering a microcatheter, it may be best to just not try any harder, but either try a different collateral or go back and try undergrade crossing attempts. So to summarize, there are several solutions when the retrograde microcatheter will not cross. There are solutions for attempting to deliver the microcatheter and other options, and those focus to either modify the collateral, either by using rotation of the microcatheter, using different microcatheters, shorter or a brand new one that has not had any deformation of the distal tip, and then one can dilate the collaterals, septals only with a small balloon. Ways to increase support are putting forward pressure on the guide using a guide extension or the side branch anchoring technique or the undergrade anchoring technique or exchanging for a stiffer guide wire. If this fails, another option is retrograde crossing or using the retrograde wire as a marker for undergrade crossing. And the other option is to leave the wire in place but try another collateral that may be more easy to navigate with the microcatheter. The key thing is to have a systematic algorithm approach until success is achieved. Thank you.